Aircraft carriers are among the most powerful and strategically vital warships in naval history. Often referred to as floating fortresses, these massive vessels serve as mobile air bases, allowing nations to project power across vast distances. Their ability to launch and recover aircraft at sea makes them crucial assets for military operations, humanitarian efforts, and diplomatic missions. This article explores the history, design, operations, and strategic importance of aircraft carriers in modern warfare. The evolution of aircraft carriers. The concept of an aircraft carrier emerged in the early 20th century, transforming naval warfare forever. The first ships adapted for aircraft operations were converted cruisers and battleships, featuring simple flight decks. During World War I, the Royal Navy experimented with launching aircraft from ships, leading to the commissioning of the first true aircraft carrier, HMS Hermes, in 1924. World War II saw the full potential of aircraft carriers realized as they replaced battleships as the dominant force at sea. The Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941 demonstrated the power of carrier-based aviation. The Pacific Theater became a proving ground for these warships, with battles like Midway showcasing their decisive role in warfare. By the end of the war, the aircraft carrier had become the centerpiece of naval strategy. The Cold War era further expanded the role of aircraft carriers, with nuclear-powered supercarriers entering service. The United States pioneered this advancement with USS Enterprise, the first nuclear-powered carrier, in 1961. These carriers allowed for unlimited operational range, increasing strategic capabilities. The development of vertical takeoff and landing VTOL aircraft in the late 20th century also expanded carrier versatility, allowing smaller carriers to deploy aircraft effectively. The post-Cold War period saw continued innovation with modern carriers integrating digital control systems, stealth capabilities, and electromagnetic catapults to enhance operational efficiency. Today, the aircraft carrier remains a cornerstone of naval power, adapting to emerging threats and technological advancements, design and construction. Modern aircraft carriers are engineering marvels, incorporating advanced technology to support large-scale air operations, they typically feature the following key components. Flight deck. The expansive flat deck allows aircraft to take off and land. Some carriers utilize a catapult-assisted takeoff system, catabar, while others use ski jumps, stowbar, for short takeoff and arrested recovery. Hangar deck. Located below the flight deck, this area stores and maintains aircraft when not in use. Island superstructure, the command center of the ship, housing the bridge, flight control, and radar systems. Propulsion system. Most modern carriers use nuclear reactors for unlimited range and endurance. Conventional carriers rely on gas turbines or diesel engines. Defense systems. Aircraft carriers are equipped with anti-aircraft guns, missile defense systems, and electronic warfare capabilities to protect against threats. Crew and support facilities. Carriers house thousands of personnel, including pilots, engineers, medical teams, and logistics specialists. Aircraft carriers require advanced shipbuilding techniques, including modular construction, high-strength steel hulls, and sophisticated avionics. Their design also includes redundant systems to ensure operational reliability even in combat scenarios. Types of aircraft carriers. Aircraft carriers come in various designs, each serving different operational needs. Supercarriers. The largest class, such as the U.S. Navy's Nimitz and Ford class carriers, capable of carrying over 70 aircraft. Light carriers. Smaller carriers like the Italian Cavour and Spanish Juan Carlos I, designed for amphibious and regional operations. Helicopter carriers. Vessels like the U.S. Wasp-class amphibious assault ships, 
which deploy helicopters and vertical takeoff aircraft. Stobar and Katabar carriers. Stobar, short takeoff but arrested recovery. Carriers like India's Inns Vikramaditya rely on ski jumps, while Katabar carriers like France's Charles de Gaulle use catapults for launching fixed-wing aircraft. With the rise of multi-role capabilities, hybrid carriers capable of launching both fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters are also gaining traction. These designs enhance versatility, making them suitable for a wide range of missions. Aircraft operations and capabilities. Aircraft carriers function as mobile air bases, enabling nations to conduct air operations far from home soil. A typical carrier air wing includes fighter jets, multi-role aircraft like the F-A-18 Super Hornet and F-35 Lightning II provide air superiority. Electronic warfare, aircraft, EA-18, G Growler and E-2 Hawkeye support surveillance and jamming enemy radar. Helicopters, MH-60 Seahawk and CH-53 Super Stallion handle anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue, and transport operations. Aerial refuelers and utility aircraft extend the operational range of carrier-based aircraft. Flight deck operations are highly coordinated, involving launch and recovery procedures that require precise timing and teamwork. Aircraft launch using catapults or ski jumps while recovery involves arrestor wires that rapidly decelerate incoming planes. Strategic importance. Aircraft carriers play a pivotal role in global military strategy. Their mobility allows rapid deployment to crisis zones, providing air support without the need for foreign air bases. Key strategic advantages include power projection. A single carrier strike group can control airspace over vast areas influencing military and diplomatic outcomes. Deterrence. The presence of a carrier signals military strength and deters potential adversaries. Humanitarian assistance. Carriers provide disaster relief, medical aid, and emergency evacuations during natural disasters. Flexibility. They support a wide range of missions, from combat operations to peacekeeping efforts. Aircraft carriers also contribute to naval diplomacy, showcasing national strength and fostering alliances through joint exercises. Their ability to operate globally makes them invaluable in shaping international security dynamics. Challenges and future developments. Despite their advantages, aircraft carriers face several challenges. Cost. Supercarriers cost billions to build and maintain, requiring extensive resources. Vulnerability to missiles. Advances in hypersonic and anti-ship missiles pose threats to carrier strike groups. Evolving warfare. The rise of drones and cyber warfare necessitates continuous adaptation. To address these challenges, future carriers incorporate stealth features, electromagnetic catapults, and autonomous aircraft. The U.S. Navy's Gerald R. Ford class carriers showcase these innovations, ensuring carriers remain relevant in modern warfare. Nations are also exploring drone carriers designed to deploy swarms of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, for reconnaissance and strike missions. These developments could redefine the role of aircraft carriers in future conflicts. Conclusion Aircraft carriers continue to dominate naval strategy, serving as symbols of national power and security. Their ability to project force, support global missions, and adapt to technological advancements ensures their significance in future conflicts. As naval warfare evolves, aircraft carriers will remain at the forefront, shaping military history for decades to come. Their continued development and strategic deployment will determine their role in 21st century warfare, reinforcing their status as the ultimate force multipliers in modern naval operations.